Hey, congratulations on your purchase of a Mac Duty Act card. I'm here today to show you how quick and easy it is to turn all the parts inside this box into your very own Mac Duty Act card. Let's go. Now that you've got everything that's packed, let's see how few parts you really have to put it together. The guys at the factory have just got a big show. A lot of the pieces are already set up. So, you'll just need a few hand tools you can find right here in the garage. Hair pliers, the needle nose pliers, and a drill screwdriver. You'll also need an assistant to help out. So, let's start by attaching the metal bed frame to the back of the box. Let's go ahead and start with the metal bed frame. Let's go ahead and start with the metal bed frame. Let's go ahead and start with the metal bed frame. To do that, you're going to need three items from your picture box. One is item 26, the bolt. You'll need item 25, the nut, and item 27, the washer. You'll note that the item number is matched in both the picture box and in the instruction manual. So just place the bolt frame here, making sure that it's flat with the bed, and making sure that the opening of the frame is towards the rear or towards the of the bed. Lifting up the tub, reach under and put the bolt through. Now I've got a washer for you inside of the tub. I'm also going to take another washer to place it here and take my nut and hand tighten. Next, I'll get the fill tub. Put that under here and use my pliers. To tighten it the rest of the way down. Next, you're going to attach the rear support to the tow bar. To do this, you'll need three items from your virtual car item 5, item 18, and a car You'll also need more pliers and a pair of new race pliers to lock that car into the support. Washer goes at the bottom, and the cotton slides right through. And next, you need to do the tire and you need a way so you can lock that cotton to the other place. Now that we've got the wheel support and the tow bar connected, we need to attach it to the bed and the bed frame. To do that, Right it up here, slide it right into place, laying the tow bar right in this spot here. Next, make sure you close the lock to lock the tow bar into place. To complete the attachment, we need item 12, the two of these, and two hairpin collars. You won't need any hand tools for this part, super easy. Taking the number 12 pin with the head facing out, we're good. Line it up with the holes here, push it. Straight through and lock it in place with a head pin tie. Repeating on the other side, the head facing out, push it right through, lock it in place. Next, we're going to attach the gas spray. To do that, you'll need item 30 and 31. Now, these are really important that you use these because these are sides that only fit the gas spray. And when attaching this gas spray, you want to make sure that the bolt is facing towards the plate here. Then, you'll squeeze your fingers, pop this clip back, and slide it right out. You can see the open fork of your gas spray, that's it, line it up right there, push the clip back through, and lock it in the plate. Next, we're going to attach the gas spray. To the bracket. To do that, you'll need an assistant to unlock the tow bar and lift it up so that you can match it in place. Just like this. Now that we've lined them up, we just attach our washer and our locker. Now is when the candy wrench that was included in your booster pack comes into play. There's a little bolt right on this side, pressing in your flat back, and then finish tightening right here. You want to make sure that this is nice and tight. Then you 
you've got that black free pass, the assistant, lower that snowball back down, and not get it to play. Almost done, time to attack the pipe. To do that, we need the two axles, two of these large washers, and two cottage heads. We'll take our axle, making sure that the head of the axle on the new side will just slide it right through the hole there. Take our wheel, making sure that the air nozzle facing out, and just slide it right on there. Put a washer on. Using your needle nose and your fire to just rock the cottage in place. Last, simply take the tail hook, put it through, and attach our last hook with that. And now you have to try to fit. You'll find a QR code right here on the paper. Just use your cell phone with a QR code reader to scan it and find lots of helpful projects for it. 